Okay. Hey, I'm Dan from Ari Dan. This is my wife and my business partner. I'm Ari Dan. Don't move away from the camera when you're talking. <laughs> towards the camera when you're talking. And so today we got a bunch of new subscribers thanks to uh, my new assistant. Uh, come into the camera frame real quick, Kim. Kim, doing a lot of work. <laughs> um, helping the channel grow, helping the business grow. Yeah. Um, so this is just another vlog. Today, or this week so far, we've gotten more organized, more social media stuff finished. Um, we're finishing up a couple big jobs. The Boss Alliance goes out. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, a little backed up on by the the what is it, tags, the labels, the logo Eight. tags. They still have not come in. Um, you know, I mean, all of the most successful, the biggest. You know, I feel like I should have a ring on my finger. Anyway, I don't have any rings. I don't know where. Do you like Spiderman? Yeah, good morning. <laughs> it won't even fit on the tip of my finger. There we go. So all of the biggest, most successful um, clothing companies, I think they have, they like do everything in house, or they have like specific partners who just do their stuff. Um, because like subcontracting sucks. It sucks to rely on other people here. It sucks to rely on other people. Um, when you're late and it's your fault, you understand why. You know, you can explain it. But when you're late and it's someone else's fault, all you can do is like, I don't, I don't know. That's not good for business. I don't know. I have no idea why we're late, what's holding them up, or when it's going to be figured out. Very bad for business. It's bad. You never want to say that. Um, what happened this week? It's our last vlog. Interesting. What happened last vlog? Since the last vlog, what has happened in the business? I don't remember. Since the last vlog, it's anything. been how many days? I don't know. Just anything that interesting that has happened that you can think of. Interesting that has happened. It's been happening. How are nice people so bad? Oh, yeah. We, uh, so we got some new orders and we fired the whole night shift. I fired the whole night shift. Um, even even with the difference in culture between American you know work culture and Filipino work culture, the night shift is taking advantage. Right? Well, we can all agree. Anywhere. It's not anywhere. There's nowhere that the every single person who works on the night shift will not show up <laughs> on the same day. Oh, yeah. And nobody calls. There's no advance notice, right? After, and this is after the weekend. It's not like they were working and then you know they were working too much and they just needed a day off. They just had two days off. They just had a whole weekend off. It is just coincidence. A coincidence. <laughs> We have people on our night shift that don't even work for us come and, and with, you know, they, they bring their family, they bring their friends just to come and chill all night. I don't mind, you know, as long as the work gets done, you can bring your nieces and nephews, your husbands and wives, your chickens, I don't care, just get the work done. But I'm staring at mine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it helps help you stay up. <laughs> 
You know, you think we should get a company doll? <laughs> That's a serious question. Company <laughs> doll. Company doll. What the? <laughs> little dogs. You know. Anyway, I want a dog. Anyway. So we fired the whole night shift. I don't know. Is it, am I? I think I'm a bad manager. What's your management style, Ariane? What do you think is the best way to manage people? Yes. We do all. We do all our best. That is their fault, not us. Yes. You agree? Yes. We're not bad. The problem is not with you. It's with them. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, the problem is with me or us. It's management, right? You, Kim, Kim wants to be here. Mads and Janice, they want to be here. People who want to work here and are enthusiastic about working here, they don't need management. They don't need us to look over their shoulder. They don't need us to schedule or, or check in or whatever because they're going to come to work. They're going to do their work well. They're going to take pride in their work. But everybody is not like that. I think I was telling you this. They like it, but uh, Especially the problem night is, as I told you, the problem is on their side, not in ours. Because, <laughs> in all company, all over here in the Philippines, there's no other company that does us. Yes, just like us. There's none. And you know what? I used to think, oh, Philippine companies are so mean and they pay so little and there's so many rules. Like Ariane, when she would go to work, she would like almost cry if she was going to be late. And because, I don't know, what, do they fire you or they don't let you work that day? No, they just mess in your working hours. Yeah, they so like if you're late a couple minutes, they take one whole hour. See, we need yeah. to do that. That sounds good. I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. Then inside the production, you have to wear is your uniform is itchy. You have to wear it. And and the head scarf yeah, or whatever. Head, uh, hair net. Mm -hmm, hair net, yeah. Face mask. We don't do any of that. There's no face. dress code. There's no real set hours as long as the work is done we're gonna pay you right I feel like I don't know, like if you come to this situation you should be like oh this is my chance to spread my wings right yeah. but, but I was telling Kim this and this is my firm belief night shift people are lazy and have a just have a different mindset than regular people and, and I'm saying this not just as an insult to night shift people I am a night shift worker I've worked night shift for years and years and I am this way I am this way and that's how I know everyone who works in night shift is this way night shift live to get over they only come to work because they have to um, and they prefer the night shift because there's less oversight night shift people hate their boss night shift people uh, only do their job because they have to and uh, like the fact that there's less oversight so they can get away with more um, and just they hate authority at least I do, and it seems like everyone I've ever worked with is that, like that too. Uh, light sh night shift is the first shift to talk shit. So if if there's any bad talk about the boss or the coworkers, it starts on the night shift for gossipers or mean. And so I don't know what it was about uh, Ari Dan that uh, made this night nice shift. I mean, I know what it was. We just, we don't put the fist now. Like we should. Ariane, you should be bad cop. You should be the bad cop. You should be mean. You've been a sewer for 10 years, or however many years. And I hate mean people. 
I hate my supervisor. I hate my leaders. I don't know. I think that's just the choice we have to make now. We just have to let the people hate us so they get the work done because if we're nice then they just they don't show up they just take days off or they do bad work you know night shift is we don't they're blaming themselves now hmm? they lose the job and they're blaming themselves now they should it's their fault yeah. it's their fault that they lost their job yeah. there's no no normal person would think I just won't go to work today I'm not going to tell anybody I'm not going to call in I'm just not going to show up just, I mean there's no one who would think that that's okay especially if they've done it before Like I, all of these people have had were on their second chance at least in my book every single person on night shift had done this before they just didn't show up now they never did it all at the same time you know it'd be i come down and there's a day where oh where's uh jeff in there oh where's terry oh where's uh kuya where's you know so but they all had their one chance um and i talked to them all of them Maybe not Kuya. I never talked to him about it. But uh, all the rest, everyone knew my opinion was if you don't show up for a day or two, you're done. That means you quit. And then I said, okay, well, I'm coming back, but you need to come to work every day. We all had that counseling, and then just the other day, they all just... I'm sick or nothing. No excuse at all. So there's no night shift at everything anymore. I don't know if we're gonna start one back up. The sewers we have are super good. And like I said, they have that. Uh, they want to be here, you know. Uh, Kim, she wants to be here. So we're just gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna give it a shot. And we do have a lot of orders. But like I said, everyone's motivated. We may get it all done. So let me give it a couple of days. Let's see if we start, if we check the things off the list like we were before, and then you know, no night shift. It's fine. I'll just give everybody a pay raise. I don't know, but so just, we need to become better managers. I think. More organized. More rules, More less rules. smiles, all mean every day. Just angry. You? Everybody. Do you think you're gonna be there? You angry every day? <laughs> yeah. Face <laughs> there. <laughs> Your face will be like that the whole day. Face like when the cartoon character does their faces like this all. Who's that? <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> the cartoon character. What cartoon? The, uh, no, the, the opponent of Power Factor, the bad guy. Oh, yeah. the monkey? Oh, yeah. She's really talking about Power Puff Girls right now. <laughs> Enjoy the Power Puff Girls. You're the Power Puff Girls. Enjoy our mood, Jojo. You want that? <laughs> <laughs> if they do the work, I don't mind. They can hate me. They hate me, they get paid well, and they eat every day. That's, that's okay. Um, we need to hire someone to edit our videos. We have to make videos every day. Hire someone to edit our videos. Cut this together. Chop, chop, chop. Add in graphics? She can't do that. We gotta find someone. We gotta hire somebody. It's important. It's important. Social media, that's like second most important thing. Yeah, Number one is that we can this. sew. Hmm? Friends. No. Video editing. 
Ren said he wanted to play on the computer tonight. You want to make it a video edit first before he plays on the computer? No, I'm going to lay up his demo. He wants to make some, I don't know, some lay up the printing. Printing what? You want the designs? Oh, sure. We don't print shirts. Huh? Why would he make a design for shirt print? I don't really he talk. wants the print. Just yeah. Print what? Sure. Like screen printing. Down of our jobs. Do you look like your grandfather? <laughs> Come on. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> Find us some sewers. I'll do it for the new sewers. Um, on a personal note, we need to go do our marriage visa run. But I think we're going to hold off on that. For another month. Um, do you want to make it? I mean, to go there. Well, we need to go anyway. We need to go to that store, that fabric place she found in Makati. We need to find another a text uh, a fabric factory here that makes fabric. Where? I don't know where. That's what I'm saying. We gotta find one. Didn't build up their relationship. We might go to our first trade show this year, um, just for you know networking. Put our name out there for when we start doing government contracts. We have to do that. BIR. We get to go to BIR tomorrow. So you should be ready for that. Actually, you should go home. You got to be here early. Uh, Okay. Just, just go home now. What is it now? It's 11:30. What? 11:30. So it's been, you know, over six hours, six and a half hours, half day. Doesn't matter. Go home now. Come back at uh, regular time, 8 a.m. Well, early, 8 a.m. Cause you gotta go to Umbra. I'll take you, and uh, you can wait in the line and everything like that. Wait, and we can go eat at the restaurant. Oh yeah! Before you go, prepare, prepare the documents. documents. You filed them all, right? In the uh, anyway, okay. So I, we're just talking business now. now. This is not good vlog. But um, oh, ooh, next time we're gonna play a game. Um, you remember we played what's in the box before? But this time, since we made so many face masks, we'll just use a face mask and uh, we're gonna play a game called What Is This? And you touch it and you we'll have different fabrics. We'll have some dead roaches. We'll have, you know, some dirt. Hey, that's nasty. No, it's not nasty. <laughs> but uh, we're going to play a game next time. It's our first vlog uh, game. Anyway, so now we're doing tax documents. And that is um, probably the most boring thing you could ever watch. So this has been Ari Dan Vlog. I'm Dan. That's Ariane. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, hit the bell icon in order so you get notified of whenever we uh, post. Now this one isn't live. Sometimes we do live. 
But follow us on Facebook and Instagram. It's all facebook.com slash Sewing, Instagram.com slash Sewing. Hey, we come back. We'll have to check for... Um, She's not talking to me. I thought she was calling me Bay because she loves me, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not big. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. Uh, just like and subscribe, follow us on everything. Um, and if you want some clothes made super cheap, we are the way to go. We got a nine dollar cut and sew uh, sample price. So if you just want like one piece, it's just the nine dollars plus the cost of the fabric. Boom, done. And you got your own custom clothes made by the highest, uh, some of the highest Check paid the and the most the experienced expert seamstresses in this country, right? The seamstresses here have worked for Ralph Lauren, Wrangler, Express, uh, Ann Taylor. Haynes, Victoria's Secret, we make lingerie, we make swimsuits, it's the summertime, we can get you a rush job, if you want to get something out before June, hit us up, give us your design, $9 for one piece, and if you get more than one piece, the price goes down, it goes down to like $1, $1 a piece, come on man, $50, you get 50 swimsuits, you can't beat that. And then you sell them, and they're the highest quality. We always use high quality, 100% uh, cotton, natural cotton, vegan leather, everything the best. Uh, so just uh, like and subscribe, leave your comments if you want to message us about something. And uh, if you have any tips or tricks for managing Filipinos, get in touch. Because we're trying to get the workforce up to meet the command. Other than that, everyone take it easy. Bye.